Hey friends, welcome. Today we are going to discuss kinetics of anionic polymerization. And before starting kinetics, um, we know that anionic polymerization uh, basically it is also a class of ionic polymerization. And in case of anionic polymerization, uh, the active centers formed are the anions, or we can say that carb anions are the active centers. And generally, alkali metals, organometallic compounds and the oxides of uh, so we can say polyvalent metals are used as a catalyst so uh, basically uh, this catalyst are electron donors and they can provide electron to the monomer and hence activation or hence the generation of the active center on the monomer will result so suppose we can take the example again of polymerization of any olefin so this olefin reacts in presence of any organometallic compound and as a result there is a formation of active center or we can say carb anion on the monomer that we are using and hence carb anion will then proceed or will then uh, propagate and as a result polymerization will take place so moving on to the kinetics of anionic polymerization uh, again the steps are same as we have seen in case of free radical polymerization as well as in case of cationic polymerization suppose if we consider that ab is the catalyst that we are using okay now this ab it dissociates into a plus and b minus ions so first we will see the dissociation of our catalyst then there will be formation of the active center of the monomer then there will be a propagation step and then there will be termination step wherein a termination is carried out by adding any proton donating agent which will add proton and as a result the termination of the propagating chain will take place so the first step is the the formation of or the dissociation of the catalyst where uh, we can write k, k is the dissociation constant and this catalyst dissociates to form a plus and b minus the second step is this b minus will react with our monomer and this will be our rate of initiation so ki will be our rate of initiation and hence the negative charge is transferred on our monomer and as a result active center is formed on the monomer after that so this is our initiation step then comes our propagation step wherein our active center it reacts with several monomers and as a result the propagation of the chain takes place so we will have bm m minus and propagating propagation will carry on as such then after propagation comes our termination step now in termination step the active center is lost by any proton donating agent so we have suppose this is our uh, propagating chain and hb is our proton donating agent then we will have kt that is uh, rate of termination will become will be equal to mx into mh plus b minus so hence our chain has been terminated and this is our termination step now we will individually see the kinetics or the rate of all these four reactions the first step is the dissociation of our catalyst and uh, the dissociation step uh, we can write it as equilibrium constant k is equal to we can write concentration of a b plus into concentration of b minus upon concentration of a b so this is our first step the next step is our initiation step so the rate of initiation i can write it as ri is equal to i can write ki into concentration of our monomer into concentration of our uh, catalyst so b minus into concentration of m after initiation comes the propagation step so rp that is rate of propagation i can write it as kp into i will have the concentration of the propagating chain into the concentration of monomer so i can write m minus or we can say concentration of our active center into concentration of our monomer next comes our rate of 
termination so rate of termination i can write it as ktr is equal to again we will have the concentration of our propagating chain into the concentration of proton donating agent because proton donating agent also plays a very important role in the termination because if we have higher concentration of proton donating agent then uh, there will be or termination will be fast and hence uh, the polymer or the resulting polymer will be a lower molecular weight polymer okay now we know that uh, at steady state the rate of initiation is equal to rate of termination that we are uh, seeing in last two lectures also so rate of initiation is equal to rate of termination and hence we can write ki into b minus into m that is equal to termination is this so we can write ktr is equal to concentration of m minus into concentration of hb so again we want the relationship in the form of rate of propagation because we know that the molecular weight of the polymer it depends on the rate of propagation so we will rearrange this relationship in the terms of concentration of m minus and hence we can write concentration of m minus is equal to both these terms i can take on my left hand side uh, so uh, we will have ki upon ktr into concentration of b minus into concentration of m upon concentration of hb so uh, this is our relationship and now this relationship we can substitute in this particular equation so uh, we will have rate of propagation rp is equal to we will have kp into ki upon ktr into concentration of b minus into concentration of m square because this m and this m it will make m square upon concentration of hb okay so hence this is the final relationship for rate of propagation and we can say that uh, all these terms that is all these terms are constant so we can say that our rate of propagation is proportional to the or it is square proportional to the concentration of monomer and it is inversely proportional to the concentration of the proton donating agent that we are using so as i have told if we increase the concentration of proton donating agent then the amount of termination will be greater and hence the resulting polymer will be a lower molecular weight polymer and again we know that the degree of polymerization is equal to we can say it is rate of propagation upon rate of termination that is rate of propagation upon rate of termination and hence we can write kp into m upon ktr into hb so also we can say that degree of polymerization is also dependent or it is directly proportional to the concentration of monomer and it is inversely proportional to the concentration of the proton donating agent that is if we increase the amount of monomer then rate of polymerization as well as the degree of polymerization will increase but if we increase the concentration of the proton donating agent then it will decrease the molecular weight of the resultant polymer as well as the degree of polymerization will also decrease so this is our equation for the rate and this is our equation for the degree of polymerization hope the topics are clear thank you very much